uh, hi welcome to networks learning uh, my name is Riaz Bull. in today's video we are going to configure site-to-site uh, -site IPsec VPN with uh, Palo Alto and Fortigate firewall uh, Palo Alto is residing at a headquarters site and we have uh, uh, IP reachability to the VAN interface of the remote uh, 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 firewall which is Fortigate and uh, this is the topology that we are using from the day one for our all the uh, uh, simulation purpose. So in previous lab we implemented IPsec VPN with uh, one of the uh, scenarios that uh, on remote end we have a Cisco router and uh, currently now in this video we are going to configure a uh, site to site VPN with Palo Alto firewall and the uh, Fortigate firewall. So uh, we are running uh, OSPF dynamic routing protocol at headquarters with the edge router and from edge router I have connected Fortigate firewall as a VAN link uh, using 10.1.0.1.80.0 slash 30 subnet and this subnet is included in the OSPF instance so that we can make the IP reachability between VAN interfaces of the both uh, of uh, Fortigate firewall and Palo Alto firewall. So before moving on to the configuration I will show you the basic uh, IP reachability between Palo Alto and Fortigate. I am on uh, Fortigate firewall over here basic routing is already established so i will uh, ping the vn interface of the palo alto firewall which is 101050.2 you can see over here i am able to reach to the vn interface of the palo alto firewall which is 101050.2 and uh, moving on to the configuration there are uh, some uh, uh, configurational steps so i have uh, written down uh, how we will configure and then we will uh, first we'll configure Palo Alto, then we'll configure same encryption and hashing uh, algorithms on Fortigate firewall. We'll use the uh, IKE version 2 over here. In previous lab, I used IKE version 1. So moving on to the configuration, we'll configure Palo Alto first. I have already created object addresses on both of the firewalls, lane subnets as well, so that we can minimize the time on the video. So first you navigate to uh, networks, IKE crypto, create a crypto map, this is IPsec phase 1 with 40 gate, we will use uh, DeFi Elman authentication group 14, encryption we will use AES256, authentication we will use SHA256. Move on to the IPsec crypto. This is phase 2 for the actual data encryption and hashing. IPsec phase 2 for TGIR. We'll use the same group 14 over here. Encryption will use AES256. Authentication SHA256. Click on OK. Create a IKE gateway. We'll name it as IPsec FGT. We'll use uh, IKE version 2 only. IPv4 address of the uh, firewall 101050.2 is the local firewall and the interface that it will use. Oh, sorry, interface. First, we need to provide the interface which is main interface connected to edge router 1 slash 1. And the IP address on it is main IF address which is fetching from the object group object uh, address address object sorry the peer address is 10101.80.2 you can see over here this is the subnet 10101.80.0 slash 30 subnet and dot 2 interface ip is binded on the van interface of the 40 gate file appreciate key should match on both peers. The advanced option you need to enable NAT transverses since we have configured the NAT on Palo Alto firewall so you need to configure it and under IKE version 2 IKE crypto profile you need to select the profile that we created IPsec phase 1 40 gate. Click on OK. Then move on to the interfaces. Tunnel interface we need to create a tunnel over here name it as 2 and put it in the virtual router default instance in VPN zone. 
So the terminal interface, we don't assign any IP address to the terminal interface. It's just used to route the traffic for remote subnet, lane subnet to IPsec tunnel. Because we are, uh, Firewall doesn't support the policy based uh, IP, uh, VPNs, so we need some interface in order to locate or in order to route the traffic towards the uh, VPN. So we'll use this tunnel uh, inside the, uh, to, to route the VP, uh, traffic for the remote lane subnet to the tunnel interface. Click on OK, move on to IPsec tunnel, add a new tunnel. You can see over here from the previous lab, we have the IPsec tunnel for Cisco router. We we'll name it as IPsec tunnel FGT for TIGER tunnel interface. We'll call it tunnel 2 IP4 IK gateway profile is IPsec for TIGER IPsec crypto profile. You need to call it over here phase 2 of the IPsec phase 2 with 40 gate. Proxy IDs, you need to specify proxy IDs, interesting traffic of the lane subnets, proxy ID for IPsec, Palo Alto, FGT, lane subnets, local lane subnet is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and the remote is 1010.250.0 slash 24. You can see over here 1010.250.0. Dr. Code Amy. Click on OK. So you created IP sector. Now then moving on to the further configuration of routing. Since uh, Firewalls doesn't support policy based routing, you need to specify the route for the uh, uh, lane subnets that will uh, be uh, transported over IPsec VPN. So we'll name it as uh, remote to FGT lane. Then 10.250.0 slash 24 is the subnet and interface is tunnel 2 IP address is none we are not routing it to the IP address we are just routing it to the tunnel interface which is the which is correspondingly binded to the IPsec tunnel click on ok then moving on to the configurational part on uh, we done almost all the things but I think Tunnel interface, proxy IDs, routing, destination remote, and to tunnel interface. Okay, then we need to create the policies as well in order to allow the traffic on the firewall from the 40 gate uh, IPsec VPN. So I'll name it as allow remote to lane to local lane. Remote to I am calling it because we have two remote branches over here branch 1 and branch 2. Branch 1 is named as remote 1 and this is named as remote 2 for policies only. Source zone would be coming from VPN. Source address would be remote lane uh, subnet. Remote 2 lane. So I have named it, uh, the lane uh, subnet of the remote site as remote 2 lane address object. Destination zone would be lane. Destination address would be lane subnet which is our local lane over here connected with this Palo Alto application would be any we are not restricting any application based traffic so we are configured to allow IP based that's why so we will move it to some of the top tools allow remote to lane so we also need to create to support a, a routing from local lane to the remote would be lane so address would be lane subnet destination would be vpn zone destination address would be remote to lane application any action allow log at session start click ok you can see over here two rules are there allow local lane to remote to lane allow remote lane to local lane so these two rules are there and other these uh, objects you can see over here address object value 10 10 to 50 dot 0 which is remote lane subnet and uh, remote lane 2 and lane subnet is the local subnet 192.168.1.0 then you need to commit the changes over here moving on to the 40 gate firewall so 
so we need to initiate the configurational changes only the basic routing reachability is there between both of the WAN firewalls so I need to navigate to VPNs IPsec tunnel create an IPsec tunnel we'll name it as Palo Alto FGT IP sorry IPsec we'll use a custom template configure all the parameters static IP is 10.10.50.2 of the remote peer interface we'll use name port over here which is port 2 uh, don't confuse with the naming convention that we are seeing over here in the topology because the uh, naming convention inside the firewall is different so my port 2 is connected to WAN over here and port 1 is connected to WAN uh, yes net transversal will be enabled on demand pre-shift key is we need to configure over here version we will use the version 2 you need to specify the encryption. Encryption we use the ES256, hashing SHA384, group 40. We'll configure local subnet over here. 1010 10 slash 24. Remote subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 24. In advanced parameters, you need to configure phase 2 parameters. Same as the ES256 and SHA384 or 24. I don't remember I need to check again one minute so if these parameters are not same on both ends your tunnel will not up phase 1 is uh, 256 256 phase 1 we selected over here can see over here uh, 256 and 256 yes to 256 and sha 256 group is 14 we will uh, enable it for auto negotiate and click on ok the second thing is you need to create a route to for the remote lane subnet for the tunnel interface we'll create 192.168.1.0 is the remote lane subnet and we'll route it to the tunnel interface EFGT IP sector click on ok and also you need to create security policy to allow the traffic between lane create new I'll name it as allow local to the remote lane incoming interface is lane outgoing interface would be IP sector source uh, local lane going to headquarter lane allowed services all no net all sessions click on ok we'll configure same rule in reverse direction so I can clone it in reverse and edit its, its name same parameters are there and you need to enable this tunnel uh, policy so that can be enabled for the traffic so it can pass so now moving on to the configurational part I, uh, I think the changes are successfully applied here yeah. so Palo Alto has successfully applied the changes moving on to the lane side we have a switch over here uh, connected with one of the lane IPs 150 uh, okay. we have one IP binded from the same subnet on the switch mm -hmm. uh, first ping the gateway we are going to ping the gateway on the firewall and on the remote side we have one virtual PC show IP which is 1010.250.2 so now on the Palo Alto firewall you can navigate to IPsec tunnels you can see over there our tunnel is already up and I will show you some of the logs over here system system events you can see over here as we applied and uh, it negotiated tunnel in the background and the tunnel was 
uh, up I think security events one minute we can see the yeah, you can see over here uh, terminal creation and the uh, negotiation between the peers install IPsec phase 2 status change and IPsec connection status change so this is how you can configure uh, uh, IPsec between Fortinet and Palo Alto and now we will check the IP connectivity between both firewalls also you will see some logs over here uh, AK phase 2 IPsec for TIGET and connection negotiation is succeeded for phase 2 as well so now just check from here pin 192.168.1.150 yeah we are able to ping the remote side and on for TIGET we should see the traffic over here VPN to LAN 10, 10 to 50 years ping. Yeah, this is the good entry. Uh, you can see over here application is ping. Policy rule is allow remote to, to local LAN and protocol is ICMP. Source is 10, 10 to 50.2, which is the remote LAN. Zone is VPN. Interface is 10 or 2 and it's going to 150. Uh, zone is lane and Ethernet 1 slash 2 is the interface. So that's how you can configure uh, IPsec VPN between Palo Alto and uh, FortiGate Firewall. In the monitoring section, I should be able to see some security under security. It will it will show us the dashboard for the IPsec monitor you can see over here the tunnel is already up and we are able to uh, route the traffic over IPsec VPN so thanks for watching uh, I'll, I'll uh, perform some other uh, configurational uh, videos for Palo Alto and uh, make sure you subscribe my channel and thanks for watching my videos